This session is about grid references. Now, um, here is a grid and you can see there are numbers going up the side and numbers going along the bottom. Now, this is slightly different to maths and coordinates where you'd often have a letter um, to the side. Now, all of four figure grid references is using four separate numbers to describe uh, where something is. So here we've got the letter X and we take a number from the bottom to say where it is and a number from the side to say which square X is in. Now, often students forget whether X is in 14 or 15. Now, this is the way I remember. Go to the first number at the bottom, which is 12. Now, 12 isn't describing this bit off the grid. 12 must be describing this first column. So the first column is 12, the second column is 13, and X is in 14. And then you do the same at the side. Is X 25 or 26? We'll go down to the first number. 22 isn't going to be this bit off the grid. 22 is going to be the first row which makes this one 23, this one 24, and this one 25. So X is 14 from the bottom and 25 from the side. But how do you remember which number to do first? Do you do the numbers at the bottom or the numbers at the side? Now, what you need is a phrase to remind you. And these are famous ones along the corridor and up the stairs and along the runway and into the air. This means you say the along ones first and the up ones second. OK, here is what X is, 1425. Let's try another one. So what square is Y in? We start with the along number. So 12 is the first column, 13 is the second, so it's 13. And then we go um, to the side. Uh, 22 is the first row, so it's 23. And that gives us 1323 is the square that Y is in. Now I want to move now on to six figure grid references. Six figure means you're going to put six numbers um, into your answer. Now we said that X is in square 1425. Turn it into six numbers. We just add an extra number after the 14 and an extra number after the 25. Now, X isn't on line 14, and it's not on line 15. It's actually between the two lines. So what we do is we divide this whole column here into another 10 divisions. So 14 would be naught. We say naught, one, two, three, four, five in the middle, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and you put the number that um, X is here, and it would actually be 14.5. Now I'm aware this is a bit confusing, um, so what I'd like to do is take a look at it on graph paper. If you look at X here, it's not on line 14, it's not on line 15, it's actually in the middle. And what we've done is split this whole column up into another 10 little lines. And you literally just count across from the side, one, two, three, four, and you see X is on line five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we say 14, and then we say five coming along. And also at the side, we know it's in square 25, but it's actually not on line 25, and it's not on line 26. It's between those two lines. So again, we split it sideways going from 0 to 10. So it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And X there is on 5 going up. So it would be 25, 5. So let's have a look. 14, 25. And we add in the 5, which is 5 lines coming across. And we add the 5 there, which is 5 lines going up. So let's do another one. This time we're going to have a look at Z. So the first thing we do is we calculate the four figure grid reference of Z and it's 1224. You can see it's in column 12 and you can see it's in row 24. And we need to add an extra number here and an extra number here. 
Well, let's see what happens. So between 12 and 13, we're splitting it into another 10 divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and it's about 8 across. So we put the 8 there. And then we've got 24, and there's line 25. We're splitting this into another 10 divisions. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I think it's about 6 going up. And so Z becomes 1, 12, 8, and 24, 6. A final one, here is a P. And I wanted to show you this one because it's actually on the line. Now, we, we, we can say it's um, in column 15, and it's actually none of these little lines across. So because it's no lines across, it's 15, 0. And then going up, we can see it's in row 22. And then we just count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it'd be 22, 8. And there we have it, 15, 0, 22, 8.